I'd like for you all to join me on the journey that is the Ghostbusters 2 flippin' fun jokes, riddles, and coloring book. This is actually quite the ridiculous piece of Ghostbusters merchandise. This Ghostbusters 2 flippin' fun book was actually one of several Ghostbusters 2 activity books that were released around this time. Which was actually before the movie by one year as these were released in 1988. So I guess these books could have been your first look into Ghostbusters 2. You want something highly inaccurate? These Ghostbusters 2 activity books were released by Honey Bear Books. And I do remember their logo being around on quite a few things back in the day. And these would have ran you $2.50, which is either a good deal or a complete ripoff. I'll let you decide. Ghostbusters, back to the sewers. Hours of riotous fun. Mm-hmm. So inside we see that this was published by Modern Publishing. This is a really modern book, guys. This was printed in Canada, a real national treasure. They also have some of the cast's name, which is rather amusing for reasons. Which is, apparently they didn't have the likeness rights for any of the Ghostbusters, which is pretty darn stupid for movie tie-in merchandise. So what do the Ghostbusters say is the best thing to take before screaming for help? A deep breath! <gasps> Why do ghosts stick together? Because they can't stand to kiss each other goodbye! Hours of riotous fun! Now that you guys are prepped for the hilarity about to come, get ready for this classic Ray line. Stance! I'm a man of few words. When I see a ghost, I'll beckon with my fingers, and that means come! Winston! I'm a man of few words myself. If I shake my head, that means I ain't coming! Ha <laughs> ha! Apparently, Mustache Ray here is from his cameo in the Casper movie. The likeness thing gets kind of confusing with some of these pages, though, like with Dana here, which is clearly based on Sigourney Weaver. And hey, they also managed to contact the Scolari brothers and get their likeness rights. They also do several knock-knock jokes in this book, but it's always rap-rap for some reason. Rap-rap! Who's there? Ash! Ash who? Gazoon tight! Better stay out of those cold graveyards! Ash who? Ash who? <laughs> so, sometimes in this, Peter looks like he's kind of based on real Ghostbusters Peter, but the other Ghostbusters aren't, so I just, I really don't know what they were doing with any of these. It's also weird how sometimes they name who's on the page, and other times it's just a Ghostbuster. A Ghostbuster awoke one morning, yawned, stretched, and said, Oh, hum, time for my morning exorcise! <sighs> What do the Ghostbusters do every night at 10.30? Merchandising? Take a coffin break, because they're on a coffin. As good as coffin crisp. Why did the game warden accompany the Ghostbusters on a job? Because he heard the ghosts hadn't renewed their haunting licenses. Shut up. Ecto-1 has seen better days. Hmm, haven't we all? Well, I think I recognize this guy as well. Rap, rap! Who's there? Spook! Spook who? Spook up! I can't hear you! <clears throat> oh, we just get a story on this page. Once there was a ghost who haunted a swimming pool. When the Ghostbuster arrived, you know, that classic character, the Ghostbuster, the ghost told him, come into the pool and let me show you my new trick. We dive under the water and stay there for three hours. Three hours, exclaimed the Ghostbuster. If I do that, I'll drown. Shucks, grumbled the ghost. You know the trick. <clears throat> Why do ghosts call their navy the Ghost Guard? Janos Poa works on the painting of Vigo the Carpathian. 
Oh, is Janos responsible for all the art in this book? I mean, that's why Vigo actually looks like Vigo. He's so biased. Here's a page that actually seems to have Winston on it, but it's just two generic Ghostbusters. Two Ghostbusters were walking through a dark haunted house. Darn, said the first Ghostbuster. This match won't light. What's the matter with it? Asked the second Ghostbuster. I don't know, replied the first. It worked a minute ago. But does that actually qualify as a joke? What? What? More slimer! Where does a ghost pick up his mail? At the ghost office! You're responsible for all the destroyed packages, aren't you, Slimer? What do ghosts eat for dinner? Spook Eddie! Oh, come on, that's nothing. The River of Slime grabs weird mustache man. What is a ghost's favorite amusement park ride? The Roller Ghoster! Well, I do remember that particular pun being used in Ghostbusters before. I think our trademark is being infringed. And here's a classic interaction between Ray and Egon. Stance, remember, the Ghostbusters work as a team. Egon, okay, you find the ghost and I'll run for help. Oh, scaredy cat Egon. Who are you gonna call? Someone else. So we know that mustache man is Ray at this point, but this is Egon. Seriously? Seriously? Anime boy? That's Egon? I mean, even if they couldn't use his likeness at all, they could put glasses on him, but... Why? Why is this Egon? Why? Anyway, time for some more hilarity with anime boy Egon. Dr. Venkman was really annoyed when Egon used the Ecto-1A to just drive around the block for hamburgers. Who ever heard of taking a car to go around the block, he complained. What do you think we've got two feet for? One for the brake and one for the accelerator, said Egon. You know, I really love how they nailed the characters' personalities in this book. And that is classic Egon for you. Always oh, just driving around the block for burgers and Bankman gets annoyed at him. <laughs> oh, Ghostbusters. Anime boy Egon needs to get burgers. Annoyed Peter. He is the serious one. Rap, rap. Who's there? Iona. Iona who? Iona Broom. Want a ride? No, I do not. What do you call a place where ghosts live? A territory. Eh. Uh. What did one ghost say to the other ghost? Do you believe in people? Well, I can tell you I'm having a much harder time believing in people after reading this. Rap, rap. Who's there? Spook. Spook who? Spook when you're spoken to. Sure. Who are you? Oh good, Morth the Mustache Man. The Ghostbusters were at a fancy dinner party being given by the mayor. The mayor just frowned at me for eating with my fingers, Winston told Stance. Well, said Stance, you should know better. Listen, said Winston, if this food isn't clean enough to eat with your fingers, it isn't fit to eat. What? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> when do ghosts have the most fun? When they're feeling very high spirited. <laughs> What's white has four arms, two heads, and four legs? A ghost with spare parts. <laughs> Egon demonstrates how the slime reacts to music. Is he really doing that? Looks like he's just getting ready to shoot it. And wait, this is Egon now? This kind of looks like exactly how they draw Peter. Couldn't have the no-go slug on his arm. That'd be too much. Lewis and Slimer engage in a battle of wits. Wits? Slimer's wearing glasses? Is that witty? And hey, that actually kind of looks like Rick Moranis, so again, it's very weird with who actually kind of resembles themselves in this. And the mayor's bald, so that's a uh, sort of there. Hey, Bankman said to the mayor, one of your guests just insulted me. My, said the mayor, only one? <laughs>
Rap, rap, who's there? Ahab, Ahab who? Ahab, I cold in my nose so I can't go out ghost busting tonight. Wait, why was one of the Scolari brothers gonna go out ghost busting in the first place? A ghastly hag floated down the stairs toward the Ghostbuster and said, Son, I was beautiful in my day. What day was that? said the Ghostbuster. Man, Ghostbuster, you are a jerk. And here's an interaction between Ghostbuster and Dana. Yeah, th they named Dana, but this is just Ghostbuster. Ghostbuster, I jog six miles a day. Dana, you don't have to brag about it. Ghostbuster, my goodness, why do you think I do it? Shut up, Ghostbuster. Ghosts have a very even disposition. They're always horrible. Much like some books I could name. Ooh, another Winston sighting with Mustache Man! What do you say when a dog becomes a ghost? Dog gone! What do you do if a dog ghost barks all night? Put him in a barking lot. A barking lot. A barking lot! What's the difference between a ghost and peanut butter? A ghost won't stick to the roof of your mouth. What is this? Why do some ghosts shoot lightning from their fingers? They just don't know how to conduct themselves. Or they forgot what movie they're in. The Ghostbusters were trying on new boots. I don't like these boots, complained Winston. They're too narrow and pointed. That's the way they're wearing them this year, Stance said. Yeah, responded Winston, but I'm still wearing last year's feet. <laughs> when is a ghost untruthful? when it lies in its coffin. I could go for a lie in a coffin right about now. Rap, rap, who's there? Jess, Jessu, Jess little old me boo. What? Story page with first and second Ghostbuster. First Ghostbuster, I'm great at investigating. I used to be with the Secret Service. Second Ghostbuster, what did you investigate? First Ghostbuster, I don't know, it was so secret, no one told us. Was this just some joke one of these people had and they're like, we absolutely have to throw this in this book. What did ghosts chew? Booble gum. Booble gum. Booble gum. Oh jeez, I don't know if I'm gonna survive much more of these rap rap jokes. Rap rap, who's there? Fanny, Fanny who? Fanny buddy calls I'm out haunting houses. Hey, you can't be making those Fanny jokes in the UK, buddy. Dana is captured by Janos and Vigo. And then they start in a romantic comedy about their love triangle, apparently. What is the coldest row in the haunted theater? Zero. <laughs> Why does the Ghostbusters calendar look so sad? Because its days are numbered. Might also be sad because it's attached to this crappy joke and is trying to drip off the page. What step should you take if a ghost chase you? Long ones! <laughs> What's the best way to catch a ghost? Have someone throw it to you! Why are the Scolari brothers triplets now? Why are they all the... Same Scolari brother. A farmer walked outside one morning and found a demon stomping through his vegetable garden. Hey you, the farmer explained. Don't you know you're walking in my potato patch? So what, said the demon. Now you can raise mashed potatoes. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Egon designs a new weapon, the Slime Blower. Jeez, I didn't know Egon knew how to do anything technical. I thought all he did was drive around the block for hamburgers. Annoying Ghostbuster. Two ghosts were walking through a jungle. Ha, said one. I just found out that I'm stronger than Tarzan. How do you know that? Asked the second ghost. Because, said the first, I don't scream when I beat my chest. Everyone else does. <laughs> 
Is this a Ghostbusters joke? Is this a Tarzan joke? Is this an anything joke? Does this deserve to have ever been put on a page at all? What flies and ghosts snap, crackle, pop? A ghost with a short circuit. Hmm, I thought it'd be a ghost eating cereal. Why do ghosts have wrinkles? Ever try to iron one? <laughs> <laughs> Is this book testing your patience yet? Can you handle more rap raps? Who's there? Spook! Spook who? Spook now or forever hold your peace? <laughs> I can't get enough jokes where they use spook in place of speak. <laughs> Time for some more classic Ghostbusters characters. Mother Ghost and Junior Ghost. Mother Ghost, what are you doing? Junior Ghost, chasing ghostbusters mother ghost how many times have i told you not to play with your food wait so, so this little broken back wiener eats people they eat people speaking of eating what's green and slimy and comes in a can cream of ghost soup so Ghosts eat us, and I guess we eat them. The Statue of Liberty climbs off its pedestal, and we wanted to immortalize that with a really unflattering pose. <laughs> oh no, not more rap raps. Rap rap. Who's there? Isidore. Isidore who? Isidore stuck shut. If you were a ghost, you could walk right through it. It's not a joke, Slimer! First ghost, let's fly up and haunt the moon. Second ghost, we can't, the moon is full tonight. <laughs> oh, ghosts on the moon. Mustache Man operates the controls from the statue's crown. So that's the uh, NES Max controller there, yeah. Story time, a woman telephoned the Ghostbusters to report that she had ghosts in her car. As if their being there isn't bad enough, she said. They've gone and ripped out the steering wheel, the brake pedal, and the entire dashboard. You've gotta stop them. As the Ghostbusters got ready to go help the woman, the phone rang again. Never mind, said the same woman. I was so shook up, I got into the back seat by my mistake so the joke is she's an idiot <laughs> oh, i hate her vigo begins to separate from the painting not pictured the painting it's just he's a floating torso that's close enough please no no rap rap who's there canoe canoe who canoe come out and haunt tonight <laughs> a ghoul walked into a drugstore and ordered a soda that cost 50 cents he put down a ten dollar bill to pay for it the clerk thought to himself what does a ghoul know about money so he handed him back a single dollar in change shutting the cash register drawer the clerk said to the ghoul you know we don't get many ghouls in here no wonder said the ghoul at nine dollars a soda this isn't funny the cash year is just racist. How do you know when there's a ghost in your bed? He has a big G on his pajamas. <laughs> Can you try a little? That's, that's not a joke. What would you say if you saw nine ghosts with green faces and one ghost with a purple face? I'd say nine out of ten ghosts have green faces. Bad! Bad! No! Vigo uses the mustache man as a shield. Who are you gonna call? Someone else! Someone else. Now, I don't wanna overhype this, but this might be the best joke ever told. Why did the ghost paint his toenails red? So he could hide in a strawberry patch. So he could hide in a strawberry patch. So he could hide in a strawberry patch. You know, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm not sure if it's worth it anymore.
Anyway, what do you call a green powder? A non-joke? No, an instant ghost. Rap, rap. Who's there? Justin. Justin who? Just in time. There's a ghost after me. Lazy busters. What's green and comes in a bottle? Liquid ghost. You just did powdered ghost! How do you make a statue of a ghost? Take a block of stone and chip away everything that doesn't look like a ghost. <laughs> Can a ghost send a message by airmail? Sure, if he writes on flypaper. Once there were two poltergeists who kept throwing the grandfather clock back and forth across the room. Why? They were just passing time! <laughs> That's almost something. The statue is restored to Liberty Island. Uh, deleted scene! Don't they mean Ellis Island? Oh, Mandela! Please, I can't. I can't with this. <laughs> Rap, rap, who's there? Stan, Stan who? Stan aside, ghost coming through. <laughs> Stop it. What do you get when your dog comes back as a ghost? A very nervous mail man. <sighs> and also a very lazy drawing. What time is it when a ghost invades your house? Time to move. Oh look, a page with Ghostbusters again. It's been a while. Stance. Hey, why are you snapping your fingers? Bankman, to keep ghosts away. Stance. I don't see any ghosts. Bankman, works, doesn't it? Wait, so now Ray doesn't have a mustache and Bankman does? Who are the Ghostbusters? Who cares? Anyway, I hope Anime Boy Egon's getting us some more hamburgers. <laughs> what did the grape say when the ghost squashed it? Nothing. It just let out a little whine. <laughs> What's a ghost's favorite song as slime goes by? <laughs> Wallace who? Wallace is the last time I'm ghost rapping on this door. Please, please, never do it again! Slimer flies happily around the statue's crown. Apparently to the annoyance of the statue, though. Oh good, that no good bum Slimer finally got a job. Two Ghostbusters came upon a ghost. Ah, said the first, that's only a little green ghost. So what, said the second, they're just as dangerous as the ripe ones. Mm, why did he have a suit for that? Why did the Ghostbusters stop digging up graves? Stop being grave robbers? No, they got tired of the whole business. <laughs> What does the average ghoul weigh? That depends on who he had for lunch. <laughs> a man had been kept prisoner in a haunted house for 30 years. When the Ghostbusters came to save him, he ran down the front path to the sidewalk, screaming, I'm free! I'm free! So what? said a small boy standing nearby. I'm four! What? Ah! Oh. What? And on that horrible note, we get to the end of the book. Was it worth it? I don't know. I don't know if anything in life's been worth it anymore. But I'll tell you this. Rap, rap. No! I hate you, Anime Boy Burger Egon.